Good afternoon, Mr. Hargraves. My name's Natasha. I'm the nurse looking after you this afternoon. I just need to take your blood pressure and things, but before we start, can I just check your name and date of birth, please? Um, it's Victor Hargraves, 15th of the 9th, 1946. Please call me Vic. Thanks, Vic. Before we get started, I just want to get a handle on why you're here uh, at the hospital. So from handover and from reading your notes, I see that you've had some shortness of breath at home, particularly when you're active, and we're doing a few tests for you. Yeah, putting out the wheelie bins nearly killed me. Oh dear. I see that you've got a history of ischemic heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, and you take a ton of medications. Is that all right? No, you're pretty spot on there, love. If I had anything else, I'd be a goner. Oh, you'd be surprised. Now let's get on to that blood pressure. Okay, I'll just pop this on your finger here. There, Vic. And I'll just come across and put this on your arm. Vic, how's your breathing feeling just now? It's good just resting here, but getting to the loo wears me out pretty quick. Okay. If you could just take a minute to take your heart rate. Now I'll just stick this in your ear to take your temperature. Have you got any pain or anything at the moment? Like in my chest or something? In your chest, a headache, anything at all? No, I'm pretty good. Have you got any wounds or dressings anywhere? No, just this thing in my hand. Oh yes, that's your IV cannula. Did the ambulance put this in? They put one in, but they took it out downstairs and put this new one in. Oh good. It all looks good. Victor, your blood pressure is a little bit lower than normal. Do you mind if I take it on this manual machine? Not at all. Hmm, it's still low, Vic. Can I have a little look in your mouth? Uh... Hmm, it's not too bad. Have you been drinking much water since you've been in? Not as much beer since I came in here, but I don't like water much. I had just a bit with my tablets. Okay. Do you think you can have a couple of glasses over the next half an hour? <sighs> I'll give it a go. Victor, have you been going to the toilet for a wee like you would at home? No, heaps more, but just for a little bit. I must have stage fright. Is there any burning or stinging when you do a wee? Um, it does feel a bit different. It's darker than normal. Okay, when did you last go to the toilet? Only about half an hour ago. Okay, well next time you go, I'll get you a jar so that you can do a little bit in a jar for us so we can take a specimen do a ward test urine on it. And I'll also get you a bottle for, to put by your bed so we can actually see how much you're doing. I think I'll take your glucose level as well. I don't normally have too much trouble with it. Now, I'll just prick your finger here.
6.3 just now. You're on a lot of medications, Vic. How do you go with these at home? Do you get dizzy or lightheaded? No, I just slog them down after breakfast. It's like second course. Has your doctor made any changes to your tablets lately? No, I've been on this lot for years. Hmm. Your heart rate was a little bit fast as well. I think I'll take an ECG. There doesn't seem to be anything new on here, Vic. Your temperature was up a little bit as well, Vic. Do you feel warm? Well, it's certainly not cold in here, but I don't feel too bad. Okay. I'm just concerned that some of your obs are a little bit different to how they were last time. What you're telling me about your urine is making me think that you're either dehydrated or maybe you have a bladder infection. I'm going to see if the doctor can come and see you in the next little while, just to check things over. In the meantime, I'll come back in about half an hour and take your blood pressure and just check that you're okay. Are you comfortable there now? Yeah, love, I'm fine. I feel good. Don't you be worrying about me. You must have other patients to look after. Oh, I do, Vic, but I need to look after you as well. Now, I'll give you the buzzer. If you need anything, just give me a buzz and I'll be in. Oh, Kelly. Yeah. Um, I've just done the OBS on Mr Hargraves in bed five and his mm -hmm. blood pressure is about 20 millimetres of mercury lower than it has been in the other OBS. So, some of his other obs are out as well. Mm. Uh, I was just going to call the doctor and um, get him to come and have a look at him. Okay, Natasha, that sounds good. Use my phone. I'll listen to your handover so I know what's going on as well. Hi, this is Natasha from Wood 7A. I'm just phoning about Vic Hargraves in bed five. His systolic blood pressure has dropped by about 20 millimetres of mercury since his last set of obs. He's been admitted with shortness of breath on exertion uh, for investigation and he's also got a background of ischemic heart disease, hypertension and diabetes. His ADS is still zero um, but he's got a slightly higher heart rate at 92 and a low grade temp. He's asymptomatic at the moment but I'm concerned he might either be dry or have a UTI. He's only passed small amounts of urine uh, and it, quite frequently but he says it's darker than usual. I've asked him to drink a bit more water and to start using a bottle so we can measure his urine. I've got a spec jar to collect his next wee for award test and possibly an MCS. Do you mind coming and reviewing him in the next hour or so just to write the MCS if it's needed? Uh, I'll repeat his obs in about 30 minutes. Is there anything else you'd like me to do in the meantime? Okay, I'll call if anything changes. Thanks. Okay, so he'll come and see Vic within the next hour. Uh, in the meantime, just encourage fluids, try and get the spes, okay. and um, start him on a fluid balance chart. Yeah. I'll keep an eye on him. So you're all right with that? Yep, yeah. I'll just uh, document all this and um, get on with doing all the Okay, and you're all right with your other patients? Yep, yeah. all good. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.